All right, today's question of the day involves slope, and you're going to see slope on just about every version of the GED test. So this first one is just kind of like an introduction to slope. Do you have a basic understanding? A lot of times, yes, we can compute slope. There's a formula for it. There's methods for it. Um, but uh, we want to have some common sense so that when we just look at a problem, we have a good idea of what's going on so that we can figure out if our answer even makes sense. And sometimes that'll be all you need on a multiple choice test, just a little bit of common sense. So look at this problem. It says examine each line below and decide if it has a positive slope, a negative slope, a slope of zero, or an undefined slope. And so a lot of students just start with, well, what is slope? Well, I just got to say to you, I think that if I said to you that the road was sloped, you would know what I was talking about. So what is slope? It's a measure of steepness, a measure of steepness of the line. But here, I'm not asking you to measure the steepness. I just simply want to know if my line is negative, positive, zero, or undefined. And I think with just a little bit of common sense, we can figure this out. So first of all, let's talk about what it means to be positive. Well, if I say that my line, ooh, can't spell positive. Here we go, I'll try that again. If I say that my line is positive, I'm saying that it's going up. So take a look, which one of these lines here is, um, has an upwards slope to it? Well, one thing you should know is that you do read a graph from left to right. So that might be a clue to us, read graph from left to right, just like we read a book. So with that in mind, it's easy enough to see which one of these lines is going up. This line D is going up, and so this line has a positive slope. Well, I bet you can guess now if the line that's going up has a positive slope, then probably the line that's going down has a negative slope, and you would be absolutely right. Um, so our line that, as we read from left to right, seems to be tilting down would have a negative slope. So if you take a look at A right here, you can see it's sloping downwards. And so we see negative slope. Now, the other two students confuse, but I don't think we should confuse them because i got to tell you the truth. If you were walking down the road and you said that it had no slope to the road, no steepness, we would know what that looks like. Which one of these is, looks like a road with no steepness, no slope? This one, of course. This has a slope of zero. You can write the number zero. You can spell out the word zero. I don't care. Same answer. But the idea here is that... Um, it's not steep at all. Now you say, uh, well, how about this line? I mean, this one's silly. When you look at this up and down line, how are you even going to talk about its steepness? It doesn't have a slope. It's like a cliff. And the joke that I always do in my class, I say that if you were falling off a cliff, your life would be undefined. And indeed, when you have what's known as a vertical line going up and down, it has an undefined slope.